Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pal Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pal Walsh. I just wanted to make this little vlog. Um, you know, I within the last year, I found this piece of gear. And uh, I thought, you know, there was a couple of years that went by where I didn't use it and just didn't really think about it. Um... But it's my harmonica rack. Uh -huh. This thing here. Um, it's funny. It's kind of a funny harmonica rack. It's it's kind of, looks kind of spindly. It does. It's not like the big silver uh, like got the the clip like the the uh, the springs with the fucking holds holds any kind of harmonica. In it. This is this harmonica rack can only be used with like marine bands. Blues harps, uh, special twenties, um, tin sandwich kind of kind of harps, you know, um, you know, yeah, like every every company makes a tin sandwich kind of like, you know, like Suzuki blues ma or or harp master uh, would fit in it. Um, a Suzuki Manji would fit in it. Uh, yeah, any, you know, most, a lot of the Honer, the Honer models, like the Blues, the Blues Harp, and the Marine Band, and the Special 20, um, the fucking new Blues Harps, man, I can't believe how fucking lousy they are, you know, like, I used to play Blues Harps a lot when I was, young like a kid um my first in my first i don't know 20 20 years of harp playing uh i used to buy blues blues harps all the time they were these little i still have one somewhere i don't know if it's in here i'm not gonna get up but you know they were similar to, to a marine band they were like this kind of skinny little harp um, the, the, you could bend on them, like, wicked, wicked bending, like, just fantastic, and they were, they were, they were, they were really easy to play, uh, is what I found, uh, you could, you could bend and overblow on them really, real fine, real fine, you know, and then they, they switched them up to, uh, this is basically a blues harp. Uh, with a with a fucking plastic body, um, you know this MS series, which isn't bad, but um, this is a great harp. Like I, I gotta say, this is a fantastic harp, um, the remaster. But uh, I've never seen one. I've just seen I've seen two of these in my whole life, um, and. Uh, but yeah, this is what a blues harp looks like now. It's got the big braced back. It looks exactly like this, except it's uh, got a wood body, you know. And uh, yeah, I haven't bought one of the new one of the new blues harps in years. Um, you know, the difference is being on. Well, they got the closed the closed sides. Um, I prefer an open vented side, but it's such a small finicky detail um but yeah the old blues harps man if if i could go back in time and like buy like you know because they were cheap as fuck too they were like i remember a time when i could go down to fucking walco or whatever wherever the music department and buy buy three really good honer harps for for like twenty two dollars, you know, um, yeah, they were cheap. Uh, I'd go back in time and I would just like fucking buy a shit ton of the old of the old blues harps <laughs> and, uh, and and hoard them or or sell them uh, somewhere. I don't, you know, I don't often see them up for for sale. And if they are, like, they're all, I don't know, I don't want to really, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, 
Um, but yeah, this harmonica rack here. Um, this is this cost me. Uh, okay, well, I bought this with my very first paycheck, the very first paycheck I ever got in my life from my very, you know, other than paper, I had my big paper roots and shit like that, but the, my first, like, honest to goodness job, you know, I worked at a Burger King, um, I got paid $3.15 an hour, and, uh, which wasn't horrible back then, I guess, I had enough money for smokes all the time, um, but yeah, my very first paycheck went. I went down to the high note in Oakville, and I uh, bought bought this harp rack, and uh, I bought a book on blues blues guitar chords that I I still have it somewhere. I just don't know where it is right now. Um, yeah, so I still have the two things I bought with my first paycheck. My first paycheck was fifteen dollars, even and. Uh, I probably bought like a couple packs of smokes with that paycheck as well. I don't know, but uh, but yeah, this thing here and like it, it only yeah like it only holds certain kinds of harmonicas. I I I liked it. I liked it because it was different looking. I guess that's why I bought it. Like I knew it would work on my harmonicas because just because I looked at it, I thought okay, well that'll work on the kinds of harmonicas I play. And, uh, yeah, it's just been such a, I'm one day soon I'm going to, I'm going to swap out the wing nuts, get new wing nuts for it. Still the original wing nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, this has been a great, this has been one of the best pieces of gear I've ever had in my whole entire musical life. And, uh. I bought it when I was when I was thirteen years old. I uh, my first job was a burger at Burger King. My boss was a student of my mother's, and uh, he got me in uh, working there like a few months before I turned legal age for working is fourteen. Got me in a few months early. So there you go. First paycheck kind of blows me away. I still have it. And still use it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's my big exciting fucking vlog for the day. I hope you are all good and well. Um, hope you uh, taking it easy, you know. Um, oh, these Lee Oscar harp cases fucking suck so bad. All right, people, be well, stay free. I'll see you sometime, somewhere.